Good morning, everyone. What time is it right now? It is 10.55 in the morning on November 10th. It is Wednesday. It is a gorgeous day out right now. It is kind of fall-ish. I think we're going to get back into like the 80s within the coming week, but it's nice today. It's overcast. There is a breeze. I don't have to have this outside heater on, so I am loving it. But I wanted to come on and start a vlog because I feel like it's been a hot minute since I released the last one. I think it was released on Halloween. Yeah. I think that's what it is, but there's been a lot going on. There's been so much going on here in Florida with my mom's house. My brother and his girlfriend just left the other day. They were here for from Thursday until Monday, and we got a lot of stuff removed. A lot of stuff was sold. My brother's girlfriend loves to do antiques. That's like her passion in life. So since my mom had a lot of antiques, they came and they separated ones that she wants to like kind of like clean up, redo, take back to where they live, and then sell them that way on, I guess like, I guess it's called like the open market. I guess there's something for like auctions that way and antiques um, and then the other half of where it is all like separated is just stuff we already have listed and sold and a lot of stuff sold for prices that I was not even imagining like I had this dresser since I was I want to say 12 years old I had that like blonde it wasn't even like real wood it was the particle board is what I think it's called but it was like that light blonde wood you guys know what I'm talking about it came with the mirror it had the two side tables I think that there was like a taller dresser that came with it as well but the only thing that we had left was this long dresser I know it was very popular back in the day when I was growing up but that thing sold for like $125 it was like $125 or $150 so I was very surprised because that thing has seen some days like it, it, was, it was scuffed up I don't even know um, how they did that but so much has been happening here it's why I haven't been posting why podcast is late why all this is going on I really feel like we're finally getting to a place where it's not as much Groundhog Day like we'll have like a little bit of room to actually be able to go out and do something and experience life once again this is a lot like nobody would have been able to tell me that with a parent passing like I knew it'd be very difficult I've obviously witnessed my friends go through it I when I was growing up you know my grandparents passed away so I knew it'd be very difficult but having it happen to your own parent holy f I would have never expected how your life is one way one day and then the next day it's just completely f different so now with my father I've had the conversation like we need to figure out like your like final arrangements like I'm not saying that you're gonna go anytime soon and that's not I don't want you to feel uncomfortable but I mean we really need to figure this stuff out because I mean when it came to my mom I was having the feeling of I don't want to leave a stone unturned you guys are probably seeing how dirty um, the table is uh, in front of me but I don't care. I do want to remove these though because I started using some new skincare last night. Not so much new skincare because I got this, I want to say it's glycolic acid kind of like face wash from Wild Beauty. Is it Wild Rose Beauty now? Because it used to be Iris and Bow. It's the lady from the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. She has a skincare line. I absolutely love her products. Everything that I've used from her, I've actually really enjoyed. But last night I used this cleansing brush, which comes from Michael Todd Beauty, I believe. It's an amazing brush. It's the one that everybody replaced their Clarisonic with when Clarisonic decided to just like go bankrupt or just close their company. They were actually offering a deal. Like if you're coming over from Clarisonic, then you get like a percentage off. That's when I picked mine up. I got like the Elite Pro. But I used it last night, and the thing with that is you really have to work up to the speeds on it because otherwise you'll get this. So I feel like I didn't even have mine on like the highest setting, but now I'm like really red right in here, really red right in here. I also kind of feel like that might be from when I had the Moxie laser. I think this is a little bit of hyperpigmentation because of the time that I accidentally put the energizing moisturizer back on my face like a few hours after. I thought it was a different moisturizer, but whew, that burned like a bitch so I think that's what this is right here but my skin is looking a lot better I didn't shave the whole entire time that my brother was here you guys know that when I don't shave I'll get the irritation here I'll also get the irritation here this was actually like an ingrown hair that just decided to like start going down on its own so I mean I guess that's great I'm a little worried right now because one of our cats I cannot find her you guys know Bindi she's the outside cat she normally comes in at nighttime but last night before I went to bed I could not find her anywhere like I was looking for her calling her but that happens sometimes so I wasn't really too concerned about it normally she'll go she'll sleep under the hammock she'll sleep up by the bushes or she'll sleep on these chairs out here and normally in the morning when she does that she'll be outside waiting for me because I'm coming out with the food or I'm bringing the dogs out so she'll be like okay it's time for me to go in I don't know where she is um 
this morning, so I'm a little concerned. I really hate the idea of having an outside cat anyways. It has just been so difficult to break her. So we've been trying to keep her half inside the house and then half outside of the house, and then we're kind of just like moving it to where it would be all inside of the house because when she officially moves into our place, then it's, she's, no. I'm not doing outside cats. No, I don't like that. I get worried because I just feel like an animal is going to snatch them in the middle of the night when they're not paying attention. They're sleeping. I hope she's okay. I mean, she's a pretty, she's a tough cat. Like, she will literally rule the roost. She catches squirrels, birds, all of that. This is pretty much how I spent my Saturday. We went around my mom's backyard and picked up majority of her terracotta pots, as well as her, like, ceramic pots. Also, just, like, a few plant hangers. There's some, what do they, what do they call those things? I cannot think of what a shepherd's hook this is a shepherd's hook right no maybe that's not a shepherd's hook this is a shepherd's hook so we had these listed and someone is going to actually purchase all of them for i believe 250 which is great i feel like we could have got more if we let people come rummage through them but i mean if somebody wants to take all of them at once then why the hell not i just had to get up because there was a delivery at my door we just got the second order of the farmer's dog which is the dog food the fresh dog food that we've been giving to birkin and aspen Whew. I'm a little out of breath, girl. This old age is really kicking my ass. But the farmer's dog, I want to give you guys an update on that because I know a lot of people were curious if our little ones liked the food, if they hated the food, if it was something they liked at the beginning and they started hating like as the days went on. The only recipe that we really had difficulty with the dogs where they would be like, mm, we'll eat a little bit of it, then we'll go away, then we'll come back in like 20 minutes and we'll eat a little bit more, which really doesn't work out because the cats are like, oh, is that fresh food? Is that a little warm? Like, what is going on? Let's go over there and let's eat that. The only one we had the issue with was the turkey. But I feel like with the turkey, I should have known prior to placing the order anyways. At least I should have updated it before the second order came. Because turkey is something that they didn't really care about when we would make their food or D would make their food. So poo-poo on me but i switched it over on their website because you can go and you can actually get less portions you can like get the portions like smaller or you can make more portions that kind of thing i switched it over to pork so they will no longer be getting turkey they will be getting pork and i'll let you guys know how that is going but so far so good other than the turkey we're actually very happy with the process with the farmer's dog there's been no issues other than that and the other thing that i wanted to show you guys is this package that i received from, this is just the box, but I wanted to show you how it was packaged. I received my Jacqueline Roxanne necklace thing. So I did already open this inside. As you can see, the box is open, but I wanted to show you guys how it was packaged exactly. It came underneath this, so it was in there pretty good. It was like stuck like right down in there. And I do want to say it took, from the day it was shipped, it just took a day to get to me. I'm also in Florida, so this is obviously shipping out of Florida over by Jacqueline. Oh. I got mine quick. This is what her packaging looks like. The necklace is actually already out inside, but I want to show you guys the packaging. It also came with this wrapped around the box where it just says what exactly you got. Mine is called the flat curb chain necklace in the rhodium. And then when you open it, here's the necklace right here. I'll get to that in a second. Here's the necklace, but it comes wrapped around one of these like most jewelry does. And then there is a little card inside and this little card is what is getting Jacqueline into a lot of trouble oh my god I have like something I have something on my lip dry skin or something so this is the card that is getting Jacqueline Hill into trouble right now a lot of people are not happy with this they feel like Jacqueline has lied to them there was a huge concern because one of the things that Jacqueline said in her video is that she's been sweating in this she's been working out in this she's really been testing it with her friends and her family to make sure that this is the highest quality paraphrasing but basically rhodium in her opinion is better than silver and she can sweat work out even though the card by law according to her says different so the card says wear with love keep it looking beautiful and it will do the same for you keep away from cleansers soaps lotions perfumes sunscreens and other liquids be sure to take off before you exercise run swim bike or work out gently wipe clean with a fresh dry cotton cloth store with care hang necklaces so they won't tingle and keep other pieces in their own felt pouch or soft bag xo Jacqueline and then the inside of the box just says with love XO Jacqueline not gonna lie to y'all you guys already know this I was expecting to be a little bit more weighted not gonna lie was hoping that it would feel a little bit more luxurious for $90 um, but it's weighted it's not like it doesn't feel heavy and luxurious though to me it just looks like a chain that is silver that will look cute when you have it on here is 
the clasp on the back. Let's see if I can get it. There, let's see if we can zoom in. Ooh, I don't know if you guys can see it. There it is. Something I did notice when I took it out of the box, this is probably just from shipping. There is already on it, actually, yeah. So right in there, I don't know if you guys can see it. There are scrapes on the actual rhodium, which I don't think are too bad right now. Could it cause an issue in the future? Maybe, but it kind of looks like, no. I don't know, you see it, that one right there? I don't know. I think it's just from shipping though, from bouncing around in the box because it was literally just, it was literally just put through like this. So, and then pulled up. You guys know how jewelry ships. It was just like that. Came quick, looks nice. It's not weighted though. Wish it would have been for $90. Um, and I'll have to let you guys know. I like how big the clasp is. I have to say the clasp is very large. I like how big the clasp is, but it's not gonna sit flat, I didn't put it on correctly. But, I mean, I think the length, the length is good. I like the length, so, I don't know. Would I spend $90 on it again? Probably not. I would probably just go and get some, like, real silver or something like that, but, I mean, if you're a Jaclyn Hill supporter, then I guess get your life. I saw a lot of other people on social media were happy with their purchases as well. I wish I would've put this on correctly. But, whatever, $90, do I think it's worth it? No, personally, uh, but, Teach their own. Something I will say though about the box, because I was actually very curious what this was going to seem like. If this was going to be like a very cheap feeling box, just like cheap cardboard, just like gross. Like okay, these could have been like a wholesale item that she just shoved into something. The box is nice. Like the box is sturdy. It is nice. So if you're a collector of Jaclyn Hill, this is definitely something that I guess could sit out there. I'm not about to do a mukbang, but can we talk about how good my lunch looks today? This is from a place here in Florida called Dexter's, and since Dustin isn't feeling well because he just had a root canal, I decided I would treat myself. I fucking love a Southwest egg roll. And this is where we are at when it comes to the garage. Someone is coming to pick this up within the hour, I believe. They sold it for, I think like $100, so that's not bad. And this is everything that they listed. Some of it's just stacked right now. I don't know what the tape or whatever this is on this garage door, but this is everything that they are going to be taking back to where they live to restore, clean up, and then sell that way. There's also like a ton of like yard tools and stuff over here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'll probably end up just putting those out by the road for people to take or just end up putting them in the trash. But also, look at how long that freaking broom is. I have never seen a broom that long unless it was referring to like I don't know, like a witch in a cartoon or something. So it's definitely a big improvement from where it was when we first got here and everything with how it was stacked. And you can actually move around in here now. Okay, so I think I actually found the coolest thing in my mother's garage, at least as we were going through boxes, which I didn't even know this was a thing until Dustin started showing me TikToks. And I was like, I bet there is going to be some of that inside of my mother's house. He was really excited to try to find some of it. But I know a lot of people are collecting this and people have been going to thrift stores. They're like, let me get out my black light and go in there and see if any of this stuff actually glows. And we found some uranium glass. Let me put the light down, but we found some uranium glass. Okay, I'm back. You guys can see me now. Ooh, what color is my hair giving under this lashes? Do the rest of the video like this. Oh my God, I can actually see it glowing just from here. Hold on, let me hold it up. And then I will put the light on it. I don't want to drop the lid because I don't know if this is the actual lid for it, but hello. Look at how much this freaking glows. This is so cool. Like I had no idea that this type of glass was actually a thing. Some people say that it's bad to handle. Others say it's okay if you don't like drink out of it, that kind of stuff. But wow, like even just like from down there, that is so pretty. Does anybody else have any of this? Are you a collector of it? Do you have any like in a cabinet? Because I think that's what I'm gonna do, like I really wanna go to thrift stores and try to find a bunch of this. So it is now day number two. We have gone over 24 hours without finding our outside cat. Yesterday I was sitting on the back porch and the neighbor over here kind of has like a covering in their backyard and has a bunch of 
um, like fern bushes on top of it. And I was sitting there and these massive, like I wanna say it was like six or seven massive vultures flew on top of that and they were all in the trees here. They were in the trees in this backyard. A few of them broke off some pieces of the tree. So thank God I wasn't underneath them. But I'm kind of feeling like Bindi, um, tragically is not going to be with us anymore which really sucks because I really did love Bindi like every time I would go to my mom's house she was just so loving and so kind and I mean even earlier in this video I like talked to her up I was like that girl <laughs> she will rule the roost she was a badass cat so I'm holding out hope um that she is going to come back I've been checking obviously the Humane Society's websites my only other thought process with this is that maybe someone brought her in which would be weird because she just sleeps in the backyard at night and it wasn't cold it wasn't raining so i don't know why she would go off and like wander um in that way but it definitely is concerning so fingers crossed that she does come back if not then that's just sad that's sad because i really did um love that cat karma has been looking for her as well because every day when i come out in the morning to bring the dogs karma will be on the back porch and she'll be like just waiting for her to come in so she can run and annoy her so fingers crossed i may continue looking today but i guess that's just the update on her so i'm just feeding them on the back porch right now that's why you see this extension cord but does anybody else have a dog like this so this was birkin's food bowl this one was aspen's birkin took a bite out of this literally watched aspen eat half of his food it is the exact same beef recipe but birkin has been getting into this thing where he will not touch food other than like if someone else has already eaten out of it it's like he likes the sloppy seconds and i really think that birkin is becoming a cuck when it comes to food my hair looks atrocious right now now you guys can see why exactly i always wear a hat i definitely always wear a hat and i've always worn a hat since i was younger because i've always hated my hairline but now that i've actually been like wearing the hat non-stop every single day like it's like literally my uniform and all my videos as well i'm definitely seeing right here a little bit of thinning of the hair so we are going to go and get that corrected but something that i was like sitting here thinking about bindi i was like well was she not happy here was she not getting used to Birkin and aspen the way that we thought she was and that doesn't really make sense to me because i know cats can be very finicky about new locations things getting changed if you move a house around they can get pissed at you but i never had like that thought with bindi because i would say out of all the cats she was getting the most attention especially considering whenever i would go outside with the animals she would be outside playing with them she would come up to me i would pet her i would hold her she was just a happy cat which is why i'm thinking that possibly something got her in the evening or maybe she was just i know that she was older but definitely not like an older cat where you would be like oh <laughs> i think the the time is coming she was definitely like a young old if that makes sense but i don't know i miss her i loved that cat i still love that cat so i hope that she does come back i know sometimes cats will just go away for a little bit and then they'll come back however this i don't think that this has ever happened with her um, at least I never heard about it from my mom when she was still living, so I'm not exactly sure, but I hope so. I hope I don't see any more vultures today and I can get you guys some good news on that front. I am going to check the Humane Society again once I get done doing this video just to make sure. And if she's there, I guess I'm going to go bail her out of jail and give her a little talking to in the car like, girl, what were you doing? But can we just talk about how I think everything in this house is nearing a close and that by that i mean by having everything out of the house that we need to by having everything sold that we need to there are so many things listed right now people are coming there were two people that came and picked up furniture last night and i know it sounds weird to say but i can't wait for this chapter of my life to be over and i don't want people to think that i'm saying that because like oh yeah i'm just ready to move on from my mother no i will never move on from my mother but it's it's a lot um you know even before my mom passed away i was in her house i was taking care of things there i was worrying about everything going on at the hospital and then when she passed away i immediately went into i need to get this cleaned up mode because i didn't want to just like sit around look at things and be like oh this reminds me oh the memories over here all of that no i really had to get to work so i really don't think I really don't think that I've had like the proper time to mourn because it's been go, 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 go. I still have so many days where I just want to pick up my phone and I want to text my mom and be like, oh my God, did you see this? And it's literally something from her own house. Or I want to text her something that is going on 
in the news, but I know that I can't. And now that things are getting removed from her house, because I would say majority of the furniture has now been placed somewhere else, I've been having those moments where you, like, walk around, you know, when, like, Friends or whenever you have, like, a TV show that you love and it comes to their final episode of the series and they'll do that little, like, look back into the apartment as they're closing the door to leave and it's empty but there's just like the one chair there but they look around and they have all of these memories that's kind of what I'm going through um right now with everything because the space just looks so much bigger without all this stuff in it and I don't know this house without having furniture in it because when my mom bought it I didn't see it until the house was almost completed and she was already living in it so it's definitely I would say a mind um, in regards to my mother department. But we have a lot going on. On top of everything here in Florida, we have to go back to Vegas. We have to remove all of our stuff because we're moving out of there because obviously it doesn't make sense to continue paying rent there while we are living here in Florida. So the landlord was kind enough. They understood everything that was going on and the fact that my mother passed away and they were kind enough to work with us. So that is good because, I mean, I don't want to break a lease or anything like that, but it's good that that is being taken care of. I was just outside and I was removing dirt from a pot with no gloves on. So now I have all this dirt underneath my fingernails and all over my hand. Someone is coming to pick up all those pots that I showed you earlier in this video. They're coming to get them, I believe, Monday. I wish I knew how many pots were over there because it was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot to empty out. I had to go through all of them, make sure there weren't like cracks going down the sides of them. It's a lot. Apparently my mom loved terracotta. She was actually a master gardener. Um, she went, she was bored. She said, you know what? I like plants. I want to get to know more about them. So she went and she took this class. Um, I actually have like the little certificate from it, like the diploma or whatever. And she was very proud of this. Uh, it was a master gardener's class. I don't know which county it was in, where exactly it was, but they basically taught you everything about plants. And my mom took that very Seriously, like when I was here when she was still living, I'm like, okay, let's plant this plant over here. She would be like, oh no, you cannot plant there because the soil is not correct or you're not going to get the right amount of sun there. So I loved that about her because I am definitely someone who would love to know how to grow plants. I would love to have a green thumb. I would love to be able to, you know, make things flourish. I would love to have a Monstera. Like I always see people on Instagram that have those very like aesthetically pleasing places when it comes to plants. They have the Monsteras, they have the birds of paradise. I would love that. Just so happens that every plant that I have ever come in contact with has passed away. Um, even with these easy plants, you guys know that I used to be like really big into that easy plant I showed you guys on like a few vlogs. I ordered two of them to the house here in Florida when we first got here because I was like, I want something that's kind of like normal for me to have. It was a headache. <laughs> immediately it was a headache with that company and I don't want to say it's a headache because of their customer service or the quality of their plants even though the first round that I had shipped from them the plants were like complete crap but I'm just gonna chalk that up to it being from Alabama to Nevada it wasn't a good mix especially with the heat and the, around the time that I was ordering them but when I ordered a Monstera here I just got like the, the medium sized one is what I think they call it very pretty pot everything they sent me one of those, I think it was a snake plant or the white skin, denate skin, something. Like I can't think what it is. They sent me the wrong plant in the wrong colored pot. So I was like, I actually like this plant. So I just emailed them to let them know. I was like, hey, you sent me the wrong plant, but I'm actually okay with this. Like, this is fine. Thank you so much. Um, all that. Pot wasn't broken. Plant was healthy. It's doing amazing in the bathroom. And it just so happened we were painting a bathroom blue at that time. And the pot that they sent me was like this mustard yellow, which is good for fall. And it looks really good with blue. But they were kind enough and they actually shipped out immediately to me a Monstera in the actual like pot color that I chose originally. So they do a really good customer service. I can definitely recommend, um, easy plant if you guys wonder why i'm like looking like everywhere but at the camera it's just kind of weird at this angle to like sit here and like stare like right um into the lens and i'm sitting outside and it's gorgeous outside um i don't know if you guys can hear the birds chirping are what but this thing also is amazing we've had some days here that have been like in the 60s during the day and like in the 50s at night like low 50s we found this heater this is like the ones that they use at restaurants when you're sitting outside on a patio we found this on my mom's back porch and i never remember her using this i don't know if it ever actually was used or if she bought it and it was just planned to use so we found some propane and we have been using it 
love it. I had it on all day yesterday and it wasn't even like cold outside. It was like low 70s and I was like, you know what? It's shaded where I'm sitting, so I'm just gonna have it on. And I loved it. It was amazing. Um, today, I need to finish going through Christmas decorations. I need to start kind of like getting stuff together to put into a pod of things that I personally want to take. I'm not taking that much stuff from her house because I'm only taking things that I really have a memory to. And of course, I'm taking all of her crystal vases. Like, I, the one thing that my mom loved was crystal vases actually she like crystal vases crystal like glassware just like to drink out of all that kind of stuff so anything that i find like that that i think is really pretty i am keeping because with the proper lighting that will all look amazing and she had a few like really big like lead crystal vases that i'm just obsessed with but I have to finish going through the Christmas decorations because I'm trying to get, I'm not trying to take any of like the newer Christmas decorations. I'm trying to take the Christmas decorations that I grew up with, things from the 90s, just to have a little nostalgia on our Christmas tree whenever we get to have one. We're not gonna have one this year, this Christmas, girl, my hair. This Christmas is going to be, I feel like a lot different. Um, just because everything is like so up in the air, but we're gonna try to, make the best of it as best that we can. And another thing that is going on as I'm sitting here, my mind just like completely blanked for a second, but this week is Dustin, first of all, it's Dustin's birthday, but it's also Dustin and my one year anniversary. Holy fuck. It has been one year since him and I have been together and holy hell has it been a year. Like we definitely started off the beginning first eight months of our relationship, really great. We're still really great, but I mean, that's when all the stress started to happen was after the eighth month. Not in our relationship, but definitely things. You know, I had my mom passing, um, Vegas, like all of that kind of stuff. So it's really nice that we have each other through this time, but girl, can we just get to 2022? I don't wanna say it, I don't wanna say it. I don't want to be that person because I feel like everyone at the end of 2020 was like, you know, 2021 is going to be a great year. It's going to be so much better. Girl, it went to hell. <laughs> 2021 went to hell. So I don't know. I guess that we all just need to have some like positive, like happy thoughts about 2022 and make whatever we can out of that year. And that's all I have to say. Thank you guys for sitting through however long this video is. Um, I want to get back to the longer vlogs. I say that in every single video. It's just been difficult. Like you can tell like in this vlog, I'm just in different places of the house uh, for majority of it, if not all of it. I think, no, maybe all of it. I'm at the house. It's, that's really all that we have um, going on. I think once I get more stuff cleared out and the house is more empty, I might do like a house tour here and just like say like, this happened here, or that happened there, or this is what my mom changed in the house, this is what happened. But as of right now, it's literally, Groundhog Day. I wake up in the morning, feed the animals, come sit outside and enjoy whatever the weather is giving. It looks like it might rain a little bit today, I hope, because last night it poured. It was raining for a long time and I think we're supposed to get another cold front for Florida within a few days. But I love you guys and I'll see you guys all in the next vlog. Bye.